Hey, our friends, today we're gonna to be drawing the sneaky snowman from Fortnite. Yeah, we hope you're excited and you're gonna follow along with us. Now, also during this video, we're gonna be spotlighting artists throughout the lesson. So be sure to follow along and also pay attention for when they pop up. <laughs> anyway, so let's get started. What do our art friends need? A marker, some paper, and something to color with. All right, let's get started. Let's first start by drawing his eyes. We're gonna draw two ovals and I'm gonna draw them so they look like they're tipping towards the top. And then I'm gonna leave a little space in between them also. Yeah. Good job. Now let's draw his carrot nose. We're gonna draw a sideways V shape. It's gonna start in the middle between the eyes, come over, get close to touching the left eye, and then we're gonna curve back to the, uh, where we started. And then we're gonna connect the top down to the bottom, the backward C. All right, we got the carrot nose. Now we need, <laughs> let's draw the side of his head. We're gonna draw a curve that's right next to his eye and it comes down like that and it doesn't go very much lower, doesn't go much lower than the carrot. Yeah, a little lower. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna connect the bottom with a big curve this is for the scarf that's wrapped around his face. And then we're gonna draw a bumpy line. Kinda looks like water that connects the top two lines. Yeah. <laughs> now let's draw his hat. We're gonna start here on the side of his head and draw a curve that comes out and up. And we can go a little taller since this, this part that goes around his hat is really fluffy. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then let's connect the top and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna draw a bumpy line, but going the other direction upside down compared to this first line. Yeah, now let's draw the top of the Santa hat. We'll draw an upside down U or a rainbow line. Goes across and back down. All right, we did his head. Now let's draw his scarf. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down for the side of his scarf on the left and then do the same thing on the other side. Now let's connect these two lines with another curve that's kind of like this first one we drew. So we're gonna start here, draw a curve that comes all the way over, back up. All right, now let's draw his body. We're gonna draw a big uh, U shape. It's gonna come down like this, around, and then back up on the other side. <laughs> and we wanna make sure that we're leaving some room down here at the bottom because we're gonna draw his feet sticking out. Next, let's finish his scarf. He has a little piece of scarf that comes down and we could draw two lines, another one right next to it, and then connect the bottom. And then there's two pieces of coal on his belly. We're gonna draw, we're not gonna draw them round, we're gonna try and draw them almost like a diamond shape. And then we can also draw another one that's down here. And it doesn't have to look exactly like ours. Yeah, that looks awesome. Now let's color in his eyes and also these two pieces of coal on his body. Now when we fast forward the video or if we ever go too fast, you can pause the video and take extra time to finish the step. All right, now let's draw his arms, the two sticks. We're gonna draw a line coming out over here. <laughs> then we're gonna draw a line coming up. Kinda looks like his thumb. Then we're gonna draw another line down here Watch this one, it's gonna come next to it and then we're gonna go a little past and up. Now let's draw a V in between these two lines. So I'm gonna draw a line that comes down and up. Now on the top of here, let's draw another short line to finish this thumb. And then we're gonna draw two longer lines, one that goes up and one that comes out this way. And then in between these two lines, we're gonna draw a U shape. Yeah, and then connect the top and also the side. All right, <laughs> we did one stick or one arm. Let's do the other one over here. And it's pretty much the same, it's a little different. So we'll first draw that line coming out and then we'll draw a line coming up. And this one I'm gonna draw bent, yeah. Now let's come down here and we'll draw the bottom of his arm coming out and further. And then let's draw that in between part. And then we can draw the short line to connect. And then let's draw that split that we drew over here also. Now in between these, let's draw a V instead of a U. 
and then connect the two ends of the branches. <laughs> Alright, we did it! And we could leave him like this, but I think he looks really funny when he's got his legs sticking yeah. out the bottom. So let's draw his legs. We're going to draw two lines like this. And then I'm going to draw two lines over here. And towards the bottom, they get closer together where his ankles are. Yeah. All right. Now on this foot, we're going to draw the top of his foot coming out and down. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, out and down. Then let's draw his heel. We're going to draw a curve on each side. Now let's connect the bottom of his feet. Then we can draw the sole on the bottom of his boot. So I'm going to draw two short lines, one on the heel and then one also on the toes. And then connect those also. <laughs> Let's add some more details to his boots. I'm going to draw a rectangle shape on the top of each foot. And then two lines that are going to connect all the way down to the bottom of his feet. So you could go even further because it goes underneath his foot. Oh. Yeah, there you go. And then let's draw shin guards. So we're going to draw a line that comes down and then out. Same thing on the right side, right down the middle and then out to the front of his foot. Now let's add straps holding the shin guards on. We're going to draw two lines connecting here and also up top and repeat that same step on the right side. And we did it, Jack. He looks awesome. Kind of looks like he has ice skates on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color him. Yeah, he's going to look so much cooler once we color him. This part we're going to fast forward one more time, but you guys at the end can pause it to match the same coloring. job you did awesome on coloring your sneaky snowman I love it I especially love the blue shading that you added to the snow it makes them look more 3d I also love the highlights that you added to the coal did you have fun yes and we hope you guys had fun drawing your sneaky snowman yeah we hope you had a lot of fun and we also want to congratulate all of the spotlight winners that were featured during this lesson now parents be sure to private message us your email address so that we can send you your prize what, what are we sending them? $20 for Amazon to get more art supplies yeah we can't wait to send it to you and we'll see you later our friends goodbye, goodbye.